Hey everybody, welcome back to Whiskey Central. If you're new here, my name is Shayla, and today we're doing a head-to-head -head between the Connemara 12-year and the Connemara Original Non-Age Stated. Alright, so let's start with the Connemara Non-Age Stated. This bottle will run you about $38. It's owned by Beam Centauri, and it's made at the Cooley Distillery in Ireland. This is non-age stated, said to be a blend of four, six, and eight-year-old whiskeys. It's 40% ABV, and it's made from 100% malted barley that's around 20 parts per million peat. And this is kind of cool because usually you're getting like a single pot still Irish whiskey, but this is actually just made from 100% malted barley. There's no unmalted barley in this mash. It's aged in X bourbon barrels, it's colored, and it's chill filtered. All right, I already have a dram poured of this, but let's move on to the Connemara 12 year. All right, this bottle will run you about $70. It's owned by Beam Centauri, and it's made at the Cooley Distillery in Ireland. It's 12 years old, 40% ABV, made from 100% malted barley, around 20 parts per million, and it's double distilled just like the non-age stated. It's aged in X bourbon barrels, and it's colored and chill filtered. All right, I think I've said enough about these whiskeys. Let's get into the tasting. All right, so I'm gonna start with the Connemara non-age stated. Let's go in for a nose. So you get a little bit of vanilla and honey, I almost get a little bit of like a banana cream pie on this too. There's a little bit of lemon in here as well. There's a small amount of pineapple in here as well. I get a really soft peat on this. I've, I've heard people say that they get quite a bit of peat on this, but I'm getting a little bit blind to that. I've just been drinking so much peated whiskey that there's probably more peat in this than I can detect right now. All right, let's go on the palate. Cheers. Yeah, this actually has a really nice kind of silky texture on the palate. There's a sweet peat. Get that a little bit of smokiness. I also get uh, a small amount of nuttiness on the palate, which I wasn't getting on the nose at all. A little bit of that fruit shows up. Not very much. Let's go for another sip. Cheers. Yeah, there's a small amount of spice on the kind of front to mid palate. A little bit of that vanilla that was on the nose shows up again. I'd say it's a pretty short finish, honestly. There's not too much going on with this one. I'm actually getting a small amount of ethanol. A little bit of that alcohol kind of note comes on the palate, which I'm not a huge fan of. <laughs> this is pretty good, but let's see how the Connemara 12 stacks up. All right, let's move on to the Connemara 12 year. I just love the nose on this one. It is super, super fruity. Not what you're expecting from a peated Irish whiskey. This was the first Connemara that I had had. And I don't know, it's just different. It, it smells like a can of Dole pineapple. I don't know if you guys have ever, ever been to Disneyland, but it smells like Dole Whip. Like if you know what I'm talking about, <laughs> that's what this smells like. I get a little bit of that banana cream pie thing, similar to what this one had going on, but that pineapple just kind of overrides all of that. And honestly, I don't know if it's, again, me being peat blind, but I hardly get any peat on this, if any, honestly. It's just fruity. All right, let's go on the palate. Cheers. Wow, so this one is way maltier, and you get this kind of interesting note. It's like charred pineapple. I think that peat kind of comes along as like a char on the pineapple little bit more spice on the palate, a little bit more interesting uh, than the non-age stated. I think they're both the same uh, ABV, but this one's a little bit better. Let's go for another sip. Cheers. I still think there's a short finish. There's a tiny bit of spice that hangs on just a little bit, so maybe a short to medium finish on this one. This is, in my opinion, quite a bit better, so I'm going to finish this dram up and I'll be right back with my recommendation. So I enjoy both of these whiskeys for different reasons. They're kind of different than anything else that I've ever had. This is my first peated Irish whiskey. And I don't know if it's just the peat from Ireland or what, but there is a, a real different character to both of these that I kind of enjoy. The non-age stated is smokier and has a lot less fruit character. The 12 year old is basically the opposite. A little to no smoke and a lot more of the fruit character. I like the balance on the 12 year and the spice on the end of the palette. The non-age stated, I don't know, it's just lacking a little bit. There's a peat note, but I, I wish there was a little bit more going on than just kind of peat. So I got a sample of this Connemara 12 year and I really, really enjoy it. But then I found out it was $70, which 
man, to me, there is not enough going on on this whiskey, and there's not enough ABV here to, to justify a $70 price tag. To me, this, I think, is around $38 to $40, and again, I that's probably not justified either. I was really hoping that this would have more fruit character, that similar, you know, fruit character in the 12-year-old, but it just doesn't. It's kind of lacking, pretty, you know, thin on the palate, mostly just peat. There's a tiny little bit of fruitiness, but if you're expecting this to be like the 12 year old, I think you're going to be disappointed. So I don't actually think that I would buy either of these. I really, really like the 12 year, but $70 is just a little bit too much for a 40% and there's not a ton going on. That being said, out of these two, I enjoy the 12 year old more, um, but I would probably just buy either of these at a bar and not bother with a bottle. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Whiskey Central. Next week, I'll be reviewing something that my patrons vote on, so if you don't want to miss out, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. I hope you enjoyed this little head-to-head. -head. If you did, leave it a like. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week. This is okay, but I'm gonna see how the... Oh my god. Can't. No. Can't. Stop. Fuck. Oh, Dunzo with that. Fucking A. I think. I think we're done. Yeah, just kind of a bummer. Like, the tw the Connemar 12 year, I couldn't find it, so I bought the just the regular non-age stated, hoping that it would be fruity and delicious and like dull pineapple, and it was not. It's just kind of peaty. Like, not overly peated even. It's not, I mean, it's only 20 parts per million, but there's just not hardly anything else going on with this whiskey, which I just like, I'm not going to pay $40 for something to just taste like pee. It's got to have other stuff going on. And then this, I do enjoy the Connemara 12, but at $70, I mean, I could get a Deanston 12 year that's 46% ABV, way more character interest, more stuff going on. And it's, I'm pretty sure it's less than $70. And I think this Klein Leash 14 is $70. And it's got way better texture, 46% more going on. Of course, this is one of the ones that I, I've, I've only ever gotten Dole Pineapple, Dole Whip on this whiskey. So there's something to be said for that. But man, at $70, I just don't think I would pull the trigger. I, I would probably buy something else, to be honest. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for the support. It's just been insane, honestly, the... I mean, I think I'm almost at 4,000 subscribers, but at the time of filming this, by the time this comes out, I might actually be at 4,000. I'm not sure, but the support has been unreal. I've only been doing this about 13 months, somewhere around there. So to be at 4,000 or almost at 4,000 is just beyond ridiculous. I remember writing down a goal, and I mean, you probably shouldn't do number goals anyway, but I wrote down a goal to be at 1,000 subs at a year in. That was my that was my goal. And I'm almost at 4,000 and we're just over a year into it. So you guys are amazing. I just love this community. I know I say it all the time, but you guys are just the best. So love y'all. Thank you to all my patrons. We are at 55 patrons. So redonkulous. Can't even believe that. I just, oh my god. It's insane. It's just insane. I don't know what else to say. Love you guys. Have a good week. I, I, if if you're watching this on a Saturday, I'll probably see you on a live stream.